What is your favorite NASCAR moment? NASCAR sent out an email earlier this week asking fans what's their favorite NASCAR memory. They're doing this with a promotion uh, through Sunoco, and I'm not affiliated with either of them. I'm just impatient and want to know what your favorite memory is. So drop it in the comments below, because over the course of 75 years in NASCAR, there's a ton of memories to be had, right? And it could be a popular one, like Dale Earnhardt's 1998 Daytona 500. And that makes a ton of sense because generations waited for that to happen. It's like when the Cubs won the World Series. There were dads that were telling their kids about this guy winning. There were dads that waited 20 years to watch Dale Earnhardt win a chance or win the Daytona 500. Then they told their kids about it and their kids watched it. And then they've had kids since then and they've told their kids kids about it. And they went back and watched it on YouTube. It's one of those pivotal moments in NASCAR history. Or you could have like the 1979 Daytona 500, the punch and everything about that. That's another huge turning point in the history of NASCAR. You could have obscure ones as well, like 2002, Ward Burton's Daytona 500, where everybody's like, what is going on here? The Granted, he got some help there. Gordon probably had the best car that day, uh, but Sterling Marlin pulling on the fender. A lot went into that for Ward, but it's still one of those moments where you're like, what? He also won at New Hampshire that year, Ward Burton did, and I think a lot of people are like, what? Ward Burton, yeah, the 22 car, went to Victory Lane at New Hampshire, uh, same year. And then other people are going to have bigger, other popular ones, right? Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s 2001 Summer Daytona win. Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s 2004 and 2014 Daytona 500 wins are always going to be super popular out there. Then you're going to have other ones that are sentimental to people. And then mine probably falls in the sentimental category. It was Jeff Gordon's 2015 Martinsville win, the final win of his career, but it came out of pretty difficult time in my life. My dad was battling cancer and thankfully he's okay now, but that was last race that we watched before he had a surgery, which got really touch and go and pretty hairy for the next week and month after that. But that was like the last moment that we had together. And then we of course had the championship four race, but he was unfortunately in a hospital and pretty out of it at that point. Uh, and we talked about it afterwards, but it doesn't matter. We at least had that Martinsville moment. My dad wrenched on sprint cars in Ohio and Indiana back in the 80s and then a little bit into the 90s. And when Gordon came up through the dirt ranks and started kicking everybody's butt, he was like, oh, I should probably follow this guy's career, which turned me into a Gordon fan in the 90s, into the 2000s and into the 2010s when he subsequently retired. So it was great to have that memory with him, you know, at a pretty difficult time in his life. And I mean, I was just there for, for the ride and I can't imagine going through that. So for me, it's definitely a sentimental memory. And I'm sure other people have ones like that, whether it's the first race that they went to with their dad or the last race that you know they've unfortunately had to go to with a family member, but at least you always have those memories. And some people are gonna have really obscure memories, right, that I mentioned before. Ones where you're like, I, I appreciate the fact that you love it. Like, there, maybe they're just fans of Eric Jones's 2022 Southern 500 win for Petty GMS, which nobody saw coming. Or maybe they're fans of David Gillen's Bush Series win at Kentucky, which, again, I was there that night, and I still can't believe that it even happened. I mean, he parlayed that into a Cup Series ride with Robert Yates, and then now he owns a truck team with some help from the Grays, of course. There's just a ton of NASCAR memories out there, and everybody's going to have a different one. 1988, Bobby Allison leading Davey Allison across the line, and a father-son won two in the Daytona 500. One of those storybook magic moments right there. Or 1984, Richard Petty's 200th NASCAR Cup Series win at Daytona with Ronald Reagan there. I'm sure that's Ronald's favorite memory. It's probably the only memory he had of NASCAR. We can't ask him because, well, RIP to him. Wonder what Richard Petty's favorite NASCAR memory is. I mean, that's a guy that's lived a life in the sport, and I can't even begin to, you know, wonder what it would be. Kyle Petty's favorite NASCAR memory probably has to be one of his wins at Rockingham, where he absolutely continued to dominate for a pretty decent period of time there. But there's just a ton of different races out there. Maybe you're an Elliott Sadler fan. His 2001 win at the Bristol Spring Race is your favorite win. Or Clint Boyer. You're like, oh, that win that he had at New Hampshire in, what was that, like 2007. That was like your favorite moment for him. Or maybe his Martinsville win when he was driving for Stuart Haas. Maybe you're a Kurt Busch fan. And he didn't necessarily win, but that 2004 race that he had at Homestead where he saved his championship when he barely missed the wall coming to pit road and the tire rolled out on track, brings out a caution, saves his championship, and he goes on to win. Maybe it's his 2017 Daytona 500 win. You could just be fans of time periods in NASCAR or, or a moment like Tony Stewart's 2011 championship run. 
Or if you're a native Hoosier, you're just a fan of watching Tony Stewart or Ryan Newman or Jeff Gordon win the Brickyard 400, the, what, eight times that those three guys have done it. Five of those were Gordons, but, you know, to each their own. Trevor Bain winning the 2011 Daytona 500. Completely caught everybody out. Or Brad Kozlowski winning the 2009 Talladega Spring Race, which sent Ryan Newman off into the, st or Carl Edwards off into the stands off the windshield of, of Ryan Newman there. Maybe you're a Tim Richmond fan and his win at Riverside or Pocono is one of your favorite memories that you had. Or Rusty Wallace and his final win at Martinsville in 2004. Dale Jarrett in 2005 at Talladega. There's a ton of memories out there. Like I'm saying, you can't necessarily just pick one. I know it's really hard. Mike Wallace's 2004 Summer Daytona win in the Xfinity Series, or then maybe it was a Bush Series still. It was incredible. Something unexpected like that. Bobby Hamilton's 2001 Talladega win, where it, the race went caution-free, and he took that 55 square D Chevy to victory lane. It's moments like that, ones that stick out in your brain, where you're like, I absolutely love the fact that, you know, they won that race and this happened, or whatever. Justin Labonte's win at Chicagoland is probably his favorite memory in NASCAR, other than maybe his dad winning the championship in 2000, but that's beside the point. Everybody's going to have a different NASCAR memory, and that's kind of the thing that's great about sports, right? Everybody will have a general consensus on being like, yeah, that was a great memory, whether it be Dale's 98 win or, or whatever. It could even be a championship win. Martin Truex Jr.'s championship driving for a furniture row, where you see a small single-car team with a lot of help from TRD and Gibbs, go out there and get it done. Cool to see. Maybe 1992 Atlanta, one of the greatest races in NASCAR history, and Alan Kowicki winning the championship and going on, um, you know, to celebrate that. Could be a great moment. It was also Jeff Gordon's first race. It was also Richard Petty's last race. It's one of those races where so much happened, and, you know, I don't think people under at the time certainly didn't understand just the weight that that race would carry in <clears throat> NASCAR history. So there's a ton of memories out there, and it doesn't even have to be a race that your driver necessarily won. Hutch Strickland almost won at Darlington in 1996, I think, and maybe that's your favorite memory. Or Matt Benedetto fans are still, you know, thinking about that sixth place finish that he had for BK Racing at Bristol in the spring race. Phenomenal result from him. There's always different moments out there, and that's one of the great things, like I said, about sports. So let me know in the comments, what's your favorite NASCAR memory? You don't have to tell me why, you can just, if you want to, more power to you because I like reading all the comments. Don't necessarily have time to respond to everything, but it's always cool to know. So leave your comment, like and subscribe to the channel, follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.